Hi folks, Hermit at the uh, Cloister at Three Creeks. I'm here with a little shoot of uh, American Chestnut. First blog post I ever wrote when I started my blog was about the American Chestnut. Uh, just posted a tragedy for video 13. Well, there's a few tragedies in the American ecosystem as significant to the woods as the American Chestnut. But I'm here to talk about making hiking sticks. Maybe we'll talk about the American chestnut a little bit, but look how deep the woods is here. If I were to cut out a tree here, this chestnut would produce, have a little more light, a few more nutrients, and would create some vertical growth. It could even, some of the young chestnuts do produce seeds. And in a hundred years, maybe there will be blight-resistant natural chestnuts growing. In any case, the tree that I want to get rid of to help this chestnut sprout is this red oak, uh, sorry, red maple, Acera rubrum, which has a nice straight trunk perfect diameter and very interesting root system so I'm gonna you can see that the root system gives in fact I can almost start to yank it out and I get a lopping shears and cut off the smaller roots cut it off somewhere up here and make a hiking stick out of it and I'll show you the process but this tree is one of the ones that's struggling. Not only does it have no light from the high up forest canopy, but there's a black gum directly above it. It has a nice reaching out branch that has completely stolen a lot of the light from this poor little red oak, red maple. So it's not going to probably have a very good chance of ever getting anywhere up in a canopy and an old man needs his hiking stick so I'm going to do a favor for my friend the chestnut and dig up this hiking stick and we'll show you the process of making it into a hiking stick Okay, Hermit Hot signing off from the cloister at Three Creeks, deep in the woods, the sound of Stony Creek in the distance.